Hey everyone, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, tonight I am going to attempt to do a different kind of chain pull. Okay, I've got some uh, uh, ball chains, different different sizes. I've got the the regular uh, Mardi Gras be beads, and I've got some smaller ones, and then I've got a little short one here that's got some pretty big balls on it. <laughs> but, uh, so I I'm going to attempt to uh, do a different kind. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get started. And by the way, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, get me some traffic in here, people. <laughs> I sure appreciate you. I really do. I'm going to put you down so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm a trusty cameraman tonight. <laughs> and I've modified my box a little bit. So, here we go. Alright, we're going to cover this with black paint. And it's mixed with uh, Elmer's glue and water. That's my medium. Okay, a lot of people use different, different mediums. They're all good. A little bit more paint on there. Not quite enough. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. Kind of big. Sometimes they're hard to handle when they're bigger. It's just uh, awkward trying to turn them in a small space. You know, so. but to make it work, try to anyway. <laughs> Let that paint run down there. Now for chain pulls, you really don't want your base to be uh, thick. You, you don't want a, a thick base. You want it pretty thin because when you pull the chain through the paint, um, you know, it, it gathers up as you're pulling it. So if your base is really thick, then you're just going to get uh, too much paint, really. And you're going to have puddles. You don't want puddles. All right, let's wipe the sides here. Get them all even. All ready? Looks good. Okay, now when you mix paint and water, you get bubbles. So for the bubbles, you're going to want to use a butane torch. I've been having a little trouble with mine. Let's see how it's going to act tonight. Here's my little blue butane torch. There we go. And you just run it across your canvas. Pop in bubbles. You don't want to stay in one space too long. One place too long. Because the acrylic paint will catch on fire. <laughs> Well, and, and, uh, you know, it's, it's flammable. Okay. All right. So I've got some dark plum. I'm going to make it up a little bit here. Now these paints ha are mixed with the medium, which is Elmer's glue and water and paint, of course. And then we have Floetrol in them. It is a cell activator. 
right, cell maker. I, I don't know what you call it. So, on Amazon, if you'd like to look it up. So, let's see. I'm going to, what do I want to do here? I want to, I think I want to draw some lines. So let's see what we get out of it. There we go. This is uh, blue cotton. All of these paints, all, all of the paints that I'm putting on here, is mixed with so, right, Let's do some blue cotton. Day. This is midnight blue. Let's see what midnight blue looks like. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Let's do some turquoise. Okay. I like using these little bottles. They're just uh, easier to control, you know. A lot of people use... Uh, a lot of people use cups, you know. I do too sometimes. Sometimes I do, but uh, most of the time I like these little bottles. You can get them off of Amazon. Fairly cheap. Not really all that expensive. Alright, this will be good. Let's see, let's do some metallic ice blue. Down there too. This is Concord Grape. This is perfect purple. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. And this is Velvet Crush. Let's a chain here. Now, when you lay your chain down, you want to go around your whole, the whole thing of your, of your paint. And we're going to start right here. Go around. Very carefully. And if your chain's not long enough, don't worry about it. Okay. You want to pull it straight towards you. Let the chain is going to come down here. Like it's about right here. Let it unravel. Gotta let it unravel, unwrap right there. There we go. And have you. Uh, Damp rag over here to clean off your wherever. <laughs> clean off your uh, beans. Spray them with some soap and water. It'll help you out a little bit. This side. Right needs. All right, I'll pull it straight towards you slowly. See how the 
the paint is puddling up. Well, it's not really puddling, but it would if it was too much. There we go. All right, I'm going to wipe off my hands a little bit here. That looks really cool. I think I'm going to go with a smaller chain to do these bottom ones. See what happens. Here, it's it's as much your guess as it is, as it is mine. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, I'm going the wrong way. Got to go towards me. There we go. That's something different here. I'm gonna pull it away from me. See what happens. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Do it this way. There we go. That kind of uh, kind of muddled up a little bit with the smaller chain. Let's drag this bigger chain through this and see what happens. There we go. That looks a little better. That's a little better. My new puppy's over here whining. <laughs> He's whining a little bit. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What can we do with this? I'm going to take this big ball chain and try something. Now, what I like to do with this chain is kind of lay it down and curl it around. Like this. That looks cool. That is cool. That is cool. All right, let's clean this chain off here. this big ball chain off here and go the other way. See what I can make with that. I'll go this way. The one out the other side. There we go. All right, that is pretty cool. I'm going to put a little bit of color back in here, down here, though. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to try something, y'all. 
do this right here. Uh, I've got an idea. This. I like this. There we go. That looks pretty cool. All right, now we take our torch. Bring out our cells. And pop the bubbles. There we go. There's your painting, everyone. Let's see if we can get this turned around here. Oh, goodness. Well, 16 by 20 is so big. <laughs> there you go. There's our painting. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? All right. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, subscribe to that channel. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Like my channel. And come back and see me. We'll do some more painting. It, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you for watching.